Understanding the Powers That Be, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating phrase, the powers that be. This expression is not only intriguing but also widely used in English conversations. Let's unravel its meaning and usage together. The powers that be is a phrase with a historical and literary origin. It first appeared in the Bible, specifically in the Book of Romans, written by the Apostle Paul. This phrase refers to authorities or those in control in a society, government, or organization. It's often used to describe people or groups who have power and influence, but are not always directly named or visible. In modern English, the powers that be is used in various contexts. Here are a few examples. In the workplace, the powers that be have decided to change the company policy. In politics, the powers that be are discussing the new law. In everyday life, I wanted to have the event outside, but the powers that be predicted bad weather. Notice how the phrase is used to refer to decision makers or those with authority. It's important to understand the subtle nuances of this phrase. Sometimes, the powers that be can carry a slight tone of resignation or helplessness, as it often refers to forces beyond one's control. It can also have a neutral or respectful tone, depending on the context. To expand your vocabulary, here are some synonyms and related phrases. Authorities, higher-ups, decision makers, ruling class, those in charge. The powers that be is a versatile and thought-provoking phrase in the English language. We hope this video has helped you understand its meaning, usage, and the nuances that come with it. Keep practicing and incorporating new phrases into your conversations. Until next time, happy learning!